Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The latest version of the Brave web browser for desktop, version 1.38, is now available, and this latest release started rolling out on the 27th of April, 2022, and we are now uh, sitting at version 1.38, and also we have also been upgraded in the Brave browser now to the latest Chromium version, which the browser is based on, version 101. Now, with this uh, latest release, there are one or two new features to worth mention, uh, worth mentioning in this video, and also a lot of add-ons and fixes. And I'll just highlight some of the key changes for you today. Now, the first is um, a new feature called DEMP, and I actually posted a video on this uh, just a couple of days ago, um, where Brave had called out Google. Um, this is a new feature that Google is using, uh, which is called um, AMP which stands for Accelerated Mobile Pages and is a technology that is designed to speed up the web according to Google, but Brave apparently considers it to be harmful to a user's privacy and online experience. And uh, if we just go take a quick look uh, at that new feature, to get to it, we just head up to the menu in the top right, head to Settings and just head over to Shields. And now you'll see Auto Redirect AMP Pages and it says always visit original non-AMP page URLs instead of Google's accelerated mobile page versions. This is on by default. And for some reason, if you don't want that on, you can just toggle it off. So what this basically does is uh, the DAMP um, or the toggle for auto redirect AMP pages uh, redirects Google uh, AMP pages to the website that the content was published on originally, as mentioned. Um, so this takes it away from the Google servers and um, you get the content from the original uh, website and not Google servers because as mentioned, Brave considers uh, this AMP technology uh, a privacy and security uh, breach uh, in the browser. So they have basically put a toggle switch which is on by default to uh, redirect those web pages. Now another um, little change, a visual change worth mentioning uh, if I quickly just do a random search, ABC, so I can pull up a web page. If we go to the Brave Shields in the top uh, right-hand corner, there's been a bit of a visual redesign to the uh, Brave Shields. And this is used to block things like advertisements, trackers, fingerprinting attempts, and other you know little things and annoyances that you don't really want to be happening when you are browsing the web and the internet. And originally... Um, when uh, you clicked on the uh, Brave Shields, it would the whole menu would be expanded. You'd get all the features and the options. Now you'll see you have advanced controls, which then takes you to your other filters and options like block trackers and ads, your upgrade connection to HTTPS, block scripts, block fingerprinting, block cross-site uh, cookies. So that's the main change. Over and above, we can see it's been visually redesigned is that advanced options now, which just cleans up the Brave Shield so it's not too cluttered when you first open it. And if you need those extra options, you can just click on advanced options. And then according to the release notes, um, some other changes in version 1.38 are worth mentioning is if you use the cryptocurrency uh, features uh, in the browser, you can also now connect a Gemini account to the uh, Brave Rewards. And then once again, like most uh, updates to the Brave browser, uh, Brave is concentrating a lot on the wallet um, where there's a lot of uh, add-ons and fixes to the uh, Brave wallet that is built into the browser. And then over and above that, I've counted give or take 14 bug fixes um, um, that have rolled out in this latest update. So if you've experienced any issues in the browser, just make sure that the browser is up to date. Now, if you'd like to see if you have the latest version, uh, we can just head up to the menu again, click on About Brave, and the latest version of the browser is 1.38.109. And as mentioned, uh, the latest Chromium build now, which uh, the browser has now been bumped up to, is 101.0.4951.41. And this is the uh, same version now that the Google Chrome web browser is sitting at. And in that latest Chromium build, there are uh, 30 security fixes. So this is a very important security update uh, to the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on. And in those uh, 30 security fixes that have rolled out, seven of those are high risk 
uh, vulnerabilities, which, as mentioned previously, is your second highest ranked vulnerability after critical. And most of those exploits that have been addressed are use after free, uh, which is a common exploit um, that's been uh, exploited in the Chromium engine uh, recently. So just check that your browser is up to date, even if you are not uh, interested uh, in any new features or anything like that. And I have found with the uh, different browsers that I use that the Brave browser actually updates uh, very well in the background. It's very seldom that I actually have to force the update, you know, by coming to the menu about and then it will force the update. And I find that the Brave browser does update quite regularly in the background. But if you would like to force the update for whatever reason, just follow that process, go to the menu, click on about, and that will update you to the latest version of the browser and the latest Chromium version, which the browser is based on. So that's more or less what's new in version 1.38 now of the Brave Web Browser for desktop. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.